Hey guys, Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. So today we have a little Ethereum Classic news. We'll see what the weekly mining rate profitability was. And of course, we'll pick a winner for Bitcoin Fridays. See you in a bit. Alright, real quick, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, you're late today for Bitcoin Fridays, but I do this every week. So, in other words, you need to be subscribed and you especially need to hit the notification bell. So, when the Enter to Win video comes out next week, you'll be notified, alright? So, with that, let's get into the news real quick. We'll see what the mining rigs did and then we'll pick the winner. All right, so the news, Ethereum Classic 2019 Roadmap, a confidence boost for investors. This came out a couple weeks ago, but I thought I would um, touch on it a bit. So I'm not going to read the whole thing. Uh, one aspect of the Ethereum Classic Roadmap going into 2019 entails improving on scalability through sharding. As per the roadmap, implementing sharding could see Ethereum Classic achieve up to 1,000 transactions per second. Uh, this is a big deal and play a huge role in the uptake of the Ethereum Classic blockchain and the development of dApps. But one may argue that with so many platform claim uh, to have achieved this feature already, well, the key difference between them and Ethereum Classic is that Ethereum Classic also has other strong traits, including true decentralization and immutability. When these strengths are combined with a high TPS, it becomes clear that ETC has an upper hand and adapts market going into the future. This will play a significant role in anchoring the value of ETC in 2019 and beyond. Uh, another interesting fact to ETC's 2019 roadmap is the light client for IoT and mobile. The idea behind this is to allow users of ETC blockchain in low capacity environments to interact with the ETC blockchain in a highly secure environment. Um, continuing, um, another interesting aspect of the ETC roadmap uh, is the improvement of cryptography on the EVM, Ethereum Classic Virtual Machine, I'm guessing. This will uh, make ETC blockchain more secure and attract more dApps developers to ETC. As the number of dApps increase on ETC, uh, so will the value of its blockchain. When combined with the interoperability aspect of this blockchain, this is also coming in 2019, it becomes clear that next year holds great prospects for ETC. Uh, looking at long-term charts, ETC is trading in a long-term range of $10 to $11 and has begun this trading for over a month now. Uh, this is an indicator that it is entering into a consolidation phase where long-term investors are accumulating their positions. If Ethereum Classic starts to rise above the price level, it could make some huge gains going into 2019 and probably outdo its all-time highs as this 2019 part of the roadmap begins to take shape. So good news for Ethereum Classic. I'm actually started back mining that again. Um, so let's check that out. Here is last week. Um, we ended up with 1954. We did lose 33% over the previous week. But the previous week I saw, saw some, um, I had a Moodnex Masternode payout. Uh, Stellite coin mine, exchange coin. I was doing various mining things. It just seemed to work out pretty good for me that week. Um, we did get 1585 of Ethereum Classic last week, so that was a good week, or the week prior. And that last week just didn't didn't go too good. But you know that's the way it is when you're mining. Micro Bitcoin that was nine bucks. Bitcoin Gold on my little experiment on the AMD rig didn't go too well. Dollar uh, fifty nine, so I jumped off of that, and it just didn't just didn't pan out well for the AMD. The miner worked fine, but just wasn't profitable with the AMD uh, setup. Stellite eight fifty nine, thirty five cents worth of Argo. That was another uh, speculative mining that didn't go well, but got to try something, you know. 
no Ethereum Classic last week, so that was why we were only at 1954. Total volume mine dropped a bit, 708.97. Previous week was 710. So about a two dollar, two dollar and a half loss. Um, let me see. So far this week, week number 34, giving away 510 dollars in Bitcoin. Sitting at 246 so far this week. I'm back to mining micro Bitcoin, Ethereum, Classic, and Stellite on the CPU. And I'll probably stick with that all week unless I find another coin that um, looks interesting. Then I'll probably do another little speculative mining deal. All right, guys. So let's get into picking a winner for Bitcoin Fridays. So let's copy this address here. Let's head over to the random comment picker. We will paste that in. Click search. See what we got. 501 unique comments. We will scroll down here. Again, if you don't win, don't worry about it. I do this every week. Just make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when the Enter to Win video comes out. All right, guys. Good luck. So like we have Bettine Adil. Bro, great info. Thanks. Congratulations, Mateen. Let's copy your address. Pull up my wallet. Press send. And it's on the way. So again, Mateen, congratulations. Um, if you could post down below and let everyone else know and me that you did, in fact, get the Bitcoin, I would appreciate it. All right, guys, I guess that's going to be it for today's video. Um, again, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you like the video, hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. Spread the word. And with that, guys, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.